The California Academy of Sciences is the largest green museum, not just in San Francisco, California, but in the world. From the first day was really the idea to make the roof like a flying carpet, like, like a piece of the park flying. Architect Renzo Piano designed this home to thousands of animals and beautiful sea creatures. A unique modern model of living architecture, and it's the only one on the planet. Its visual impact is stunning, but this mega green museum's impact on the environment must be very, very low. We felt very strongly that, that the building should be built to the highest level of sustainability possible. Architect Renzo Piano is ready for that challenge. You know, as an architect, the first thing you have to do when you have a job is to walk on the site and try to understand the topography of the land. And what a beautiful piece of land it is, Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, California. It was immediately clear that the, the potential of designing a science museum in the center of the Golden Gate Park, it was immense. He starts to sketch an idea into a simple line drawing. I think when I, f I first saw some of Renzo's drawings, it was hard to understand the scope and extent of what he was proposing. There was a simplicity and an elegance to that design, but in the more you look at it, the more you realize how complicated the building is. The sketched out design shows one of the largest state-of-the-art visionary public buildings in the world. The roof will be a living roof, floating above the ceiling, covered with many flowers and plants. Openings in the front will let cool air flow into the museum and warm air will exit through the roof. All the materials, concrete, steel, even insulation, must be recycled materials. Most of the building's floors are 12 meters high, but the planetarium and rainforest domes will be as tall as 21 meters. When we drew, when we sketched all those curves, I, I knew before that that was going to be a great challenge for engineers. So the solar cell actually play there the game of nature. They are like little leaves in the forest. The solar cell take the energy from the sun and they project a shadow underneath to create a canopy. 60,000 solar panels later, the roof is almost complete. Time for the architect to sign off on his innovative project. The team is waiting to hear what master architect Renzo Piano will say. A long time ago, Roberto Rossellini was a great Italian filmmaker. He told me something. He said, Renzo, don't watch the building. Watch the face of people coming to the building. My face was smiling because all the people's face were smiling. I'm a very lucky man, I have to say. And uh, yes, I, I was happy today. The master architect has approved the building. And now the next phase of work can begin. <laughs>